I was always interested. I noticed that when I pumped up my tires, my speed, no matter what, I had bigger bicycles, pump up the tires that the pump would get hot. And that also understand, you see, as the pump handle comes down and the atoms are coming up against it and bouncing off and it's moving in, the ones that are coming off have a bigger speed than the ones that are coming in. So that as it comes down, each time they collide, it speeds them up. And so they're hotter when you compress the gas and heat it. And when you pull the piston back out, the atoms which are coming fast at the piston feel a receding or a sort of a give. It gives and it comes out with less energy. It's like going up against something which is so up in the air. You go boom, boom, and it loses. So as you pull the piston out and the atoms are hit, they lose their speed and they pull off. And the fun of it is that all these things which the CO notice faster and snapping in and the whole thing is changing. That catastrophe is a fire. And so on. So this terrible snap is producing a lot of juice. I put with all that activity of the atoms there, I put a lot of coffee over that massive wood. substance comes from. You find out, where do they come from? Trees come out of the air? They surely come out of the air. No, they come out of the air. The carbon dioxide in the air goes into the tree and it changes it, kicking out the oxygen and uh, pushing the oxygen away from the carbon and leaving the carbon substance with water. Most of the trees, almost all of the trees, out of the ground. 
I'm sorry. It's out of the air. There's a little bit from the lamps and the noise and so Now, of course, I told you the oxygen was snowed down away from the car. So it takes sunlight to get the plant to work. And so the sun, all the time, is doing the work of separating the oxygen away from the carbon. The oxygen is some kind of terrible byproduct, which spits back to the air. Back to carbon oxygen, back to carbon.